Okay, most basic Portal 2 SDK tutorial. Originally, I was just going to write this down and send it to a friend of mine. You know who you are. You got it. You got to learn how to do this bull crap so you can make maps and send them to me and challenge me. Oh, good. Java wants to upload. Uh, anyway, so, uh, so that's what I was originally going to do. And then I was just kind of thinking about the tutorials that are out there for Portal 2 SDK, and they're really not not what I would be looking for, something that's real basic and be able to take me through through so I can make a level with just the most basic stuff. So that's what I'm doing. Isn't that exciting? So I'm going to show you how to load in a mod map. I'm going to show you how to make a basic map, do a player start, give him the portal gun, and then do the ending of the map. Now I'm talking fast. I want this tutorial to be under five minutes. So if you get a little lost, just pause it, go back, and rewatch it again because hopefully I hit all the steps. All right. Thinking with Portals, great website. If you want to get a map, go there, download the map. Where you want to put it is Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Portal 2, Portal 2 Maps. All right? You might have to look a little bit. Just look for the Portal 2 directory. Just look for Steam directory, and then go in there. So this, that's where you put the Portal map, and then you want to enel uh, bleh, enable the developer's console in the Portal 2 menu. So go to Menu, Options, Keyboard, Mouse, Developer, Console, Enable. And then you bring up the console with the tilde key. That's to the left of the 1 or exclamation point. Right in Map, Lob Sphere of Roundness. That was a really fun map. I, I, I highly recommend it. And it's on Thinking with Portals. Anyway, so then load it in. There you go. Now you can play any map. Cool. So... Portal 2 SDK. Go to Steam, go to Library, instead of being all games, go down to Tools. Go down to Find Portal 2 Authoring Tools, install it. Once it's installed, load it. And this cute little thing right here will come up. I don't know what all this crap does. Hammer World Editor. That's the only guy that's important right now. So you load it up. I don't know what that says. And then make a new map. Here you go. You got a new map. Aren't we excited? Entity Tool, Block Tool. That's all the things you need to worry about. I don't know what all this bullshit does. It doesn't matter. So get block tool and make a block. Make a block. Big block. Oh, I'm sorry. These are all your different viewpoints. So right here is camera, obviously. Top down, side view, front view. So you can, you know, you can uh, manipulate your 3D objects. So what you want to do is go to current texture and you want to browse. You want to change the texture because if you pick at any, any of these, you won't be able to, um, to shoot the portal gun on it. So scroll down to about here, all this crap, I think it all works, so let's just choose one that's pretty, and that looks pretty. And then press enter. You're not done yet, go to tools, make hollow, and then you want to maybe make it eight. All right. Fun. So now it's hollow. Go to your camera, press Z, and you can move it around with the mouse. And then forward, back, left, and right are W, S, A, and D, respectively. Okay. So let's go over here, look at a corner, isn't that nice? Press Z so you stop moving around, and click on the Entity tool. Entity's everything. First thing you'll be able to make is a player start point. If you look over here, that's what you just did, Info Player Start. So click on your Selection tool, and then go to your uh, side view, and then drag it down. You don't want to be in the ceiling or in the front of the wall when you start. Also when you start, you don't have a portal gun, so go to the top down, click your Entity tool, go to the top down, and click right where the player is, and then press Enter. So you see it created another one. Oh, by the way, if you're not getting all this textured shading, go to View and go down to 3D Shaded Textured Polygons. You want to click in your upper left-hand corner and then go to View and do that. Because if you don't, then it's going to mess everything. Then it's going to change one of your other viewpoints. Okay, so delete that one I just made. So get your selection tool. Click on that. Double click. Change the class. Scroll all the way down. Weapon, Portal Gun, Apply. So now you're going to come in. You're going to spawn. You're going to grab your Portal Gun. You're going to land. Hey, hey, all right, and then you can make portals. Uh, so let's do the ending of the level. Right over here, pick another corner, any corner, and then, well, I'd pick the one for this away. And then grab your block tool, go to your top down, and then just take up a whole corner of it. And you can see it's not on the ground, so grab your, oh, don't grab the selection tool, go to the block tool, and then drag it down all the way down to the floor. As you see, you can't get too close, so what I do is I hit this twice. It gives me more to play with. The roller thing on top of the mouse, the roller mouse button, whatever that's called, makes you zoom in and out. Drag that all the way down, and you want to change your texture. You want to go to Filter, hit Target. Whoops, I didn't mean Target. I said Target, I didn't mean it. I meant uh, Trigger. Trigger. Okay, triggers are everything. Obviously, they do something. They're like a light switch. When you go over to do whatever, it triggers something to happen, like sound bites or whatever. Hit enter. I mean, these are these are like the most basic, important. Um, I mean, they're everywhere if you look at like 
valve maps or whatever. Trigger, trigger, trigger. So it'll trigger something. Isn't that exciting? So now you want to make two entities on top. So pretty much you need to make the entity so the trigger knows what to do once it's been triggered. So make an entity. It's a player start. Double click on it and then change what it is to client. Whoops, I like point. If you can type, I can't. Point. Client command. Okay, apply. You want to rename it to disconnect. It needs to be right on. Wait, I meant end disconnect. End underscore disconnect. You need to you need to name name it absolutely correctly, or uh, or source won't know what to do with it. So that's cool. And then you want to go make another one. Same thing. Go double click on it. What the? Double click on it. Uh, info player start. You want to change that to environment fade. And you want to. So apply it so you don't have that angle thing on it anymore. And then you want to name it and fade. Got to name it right. And you can already see, like, this one automatically knows what it is already. Duration, all that sorts of crap. So if you go and you, like, look at it real close, oh, isn't that cute? It shows a little uh, curtain closing. That means, oh, you're done. So now you want to apply the, the uh, trigger so it knows what to do. So click on the trigger so it's all highlighted and do control T. And you want to change function detail to trigger once. All right, apply it. So now what you need to do is connect the trigger to your two entities. So go add another output. I'm sorry, go to output, add. This is how you connect it. So my output named on trigger. What does it mean? On trigger, whatever. And you want to do end fade with this input. Just type in fade, all right, great. And then don't have a delay. I don't know what this parameter override does. Apply. So now you want to do another one. Add another, and you want to make it on trigger. You want to go to end disconnect and put in here command. And then now you want to add something. Do it disconnect. This tells it what to do. I don't know what all the basic commands are for the parameter override. Hey, if you want to learn, you just got to watch more tutorials because, hell, I don't know. And then make a delay for two seconds. Okay, cool. So that means you, you spawn, you get your portal gun, you can come over here, and you go on there, and then you fade out. Let's add one more thing. It's just an entity. Entities are all sorts of stuff. Let's add a prop. So click on the entity, and then just type in prop. You can pick any one you want. Oh, uh, paint bomb, physics, linked portal door, laser relay, something fun. Ragdoll, that sounds interesting. Okay, that is nothing. <laughs> I'm going to change that from ragdoll to something else. Tic-tac-toe panel. Um, GLaDOS core, that sounds neat. Oh, okay, go ahead, that's cool. I wonder what properties that has. Oh, skin? I wonder what the skin. Some models have, no. Maybe I could change what, uh, aggressive. Curious, crazy, none. <laughs> Pause in seconds between voiceover. Line. Okay, anyway, it's just it doesn't matter. That's how you can mess with this, this sorts of stuff. Okay, so then it'll come, and this is how I know this entity here is going to tell me um, where uh, where my where my end level trigger is. Okay, great. Hit F9. Oh, I'm sorry. Or go to Run Map, which is also F9, and then give it a name. Name. Load it up. So now it's going to load up Portal 2. Got to wait for it. Portal 2, loading. You guys good? You alright? You having a good time? Okay, here we go. So there's the uh, GLaDOS core. So that means that's where I know it is. And obviously, like I said, you can make a portal on this or whatever. You, you know how to do that. Then when you run, fade out. Freaking done with the level. There you go. So, uh, obviously, there's a lot more to learn. Um, you know, like uh, doing triggers and buttons and then having, you know, the, the goop fall. I'm going to do that in the next couple of days. I know that's exciting. So uh, there you guys go. Hope you enjoy. You better have watched this. You know who I'm talking about. All right, bye.